people across the country are pushing for stricter gun laws like raising age limits or banning assault weapons. Others say those laws would infringe on American Second Amendment rights, but there seems to be some agreement when it comes to the benefits of safety training. Nine on your sides. Ryan Fish joins us live in studio with more. And Ryan, what can you tell us? Well, people on both sides of the issue here say that safety training is critically important for being a responsible gun owner. So we sat in on a class here in Tucson and we heard from the instructor about where those classes could go from here. I can practice uh, function clearances. Welcome to Intro to Handguns, a five hour course split between a classroom and the firing range. Not just on shooting, but the basics like cleaning, storage, and safety. And one of the most surprising things I think for most of our students is how much we emphasize that you don't want to use your gun. The gun is a, a, a last defense. You've exhausted all other pro, uh, possibilities. You've tried to avoid the situation. This is life and limb. Roan Grimm is the director of training at Diamondback Shooting Sports in Tucson, which offers several classes. We always start off with four universal safe gun handling rules because if you're going to be a gun owner, you need to know that. It's no different than, you know, getting your driver's license and understanding that a red light means stop and a green light means go. Just you have to understand the basics of safety first. Unlike a driver's license, safety training is only required in six states in Washington, D.C. in order to buy or possess a gun. But could that change? Grimm says he doesn't support a nationwide training requirement for gun buyers, but he supports individual states setting their own standards. If you can perform the fundamental mechanics, okay, you get your card, you know, you get the green light, whatever it is, you go out, you can buy whatever you want at this point because you've demonstrated the fundamentals. Common sense is sadly lacking nowadays. I'd like to see a lot more people going out um, and getting that training. Grimm says requiring training could in theory lead to fewer impulse buyers and perhaps fewer suicides, which make up more than half of U.S. gun deaths, according to the CDC. But when it comes to keeping guns out of the wrong hands, he says gun buyers aren't the only ones who need training. I think better education at the gun store level, having employees understand what to look out for, things that should be red flags, things that should be brought to a manager's attention, to the owner's attention. You know, I, I think education on both the part of, of gun owners and gun sellers, just a continuing education process. I, I think that's always a good thing. Republican lawmakers have introduced a bill to incentivize this kind of training that would create a tax deduction for completing certified courses. But Heidi, there will likely be pushback there uh, with folks saying that just an incentive is mm. not good enough. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see what all happens with that. Thank you so much, Ryan.